Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're going to try some new products. I show these products in, or some of these products I show in my video, my biggest haul, and I'm really excited to try them on. So the first thing we are going to try is this uh, Rodeo Instagram Airbrush Primer. Uh, I have uh, big hopes for this. Looks like this, and it's a very expensive primer. It has a nice pump. The only thing I do not like with this package, it's really nice package. It feels luxurious and it feels nice to hold it. But I don't really like when it's all black and you can see how much product you have in here. So that's a minus, but we'll see if it delivers. The other product I'm going to show you is this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. I've got in color Fresco 2C3. And uh, this is a foundation that's supposed to last all, up to 15 hours. And I really hope, big, ha I have big hopes for this foundation because I need a foundation that will stay all day. I work long hours and I need something that will do the job. So we'll see. The other product that I'm really, really excited about. Now I did throw away the packaging and it's an e.l.f. Uh, hydrating under eye primer. I never heard about an under eye primer. And I'm really excited to try this. So we'll try this in this video. So we'll see. And the other thing that I didn't show in my biggest haul video, or I, you, I haven't shown you in, in any other video, is this ELF HD Under Eye Setting Powder. Now I'm really excited about if this really works. <laughs> uh, this is the light diffusing powder, helps camo uh, camouflage fine lines, dark circles and imperfections. Silky powder adds a value finish perfect for wearing alone or setting in cream concealer. And the other thing I'm going to try today is this uh, Pro Concealer LA Girl. I haven't tried this one before, so I will try this uh, too today. So, yeah, let's begin. Let's take this primer first, the uh, Instagram Airbrush Primer from Rodeo. I will use my fingers to apply this primer. It looks, come into here, a really nice pump. I don't know how much you should put, but this much I will try to put on my face. And it's kind of jelly looking. Smells really, really nice. Smells fresh and feels kind of cooling to my skin. Now, I will try this. While this primer sets in, uh, we will try this under eye primer from e.l.f. And it's kind of pinky one. I don't know how much you should put on this one, but let's go. I think I took too much, but let's just let this soak in in my under eye. Let's go over to the foundation. I will use my beauty blender. if this is full coverage I don't it's like you can actually build it up if you want to and I think I would do that just because I really like foundation that gives me full coverage so I'm really liking this foundation so far it's it blends really nice into my skin and it's I think it's perfect color for my skin tone I do like it when it's a little bit darker than my skin because Otherwise, I look really pale and I don't want to do that. So, I prefer a shader to darker foundation. Well, we'll see if we can hide this guy over here. Very, very nice. I do like how this foundation looks. I don't know if you can see guys in camera, but I think it's even and, and it looks very nice. Not patchy at all. Let's go over to the concealer. And I have this light ivory. Ivory or ivory, I think it's called. Nice, uh, interesting um, applicator. Try to squeeze a little bit of product here. 
Oh, this feels weird, this applicator. Well, I think I took more than enough. I think I took a little bit too much of this concealer, but let's see if we can blend it, blend it in. Oh, so nice, guys. Oh my god, this looks very nice. So easy to blend. I really like this concealer. Now let's set that concealer with this e.l.f. under eye setting powder and let's just open this. It comes with this cute brush, we'll try it. Lid up. Okay. I think I opened the wrong way but yeah, who cares. So I will take this brush that it comes with and just apply that under my eye. I'll switch to my beauty blender because I found this a little bit too small for my I'm really liking this uh, under eye setting powder. It smoothed everything. I think I'm going, going to order more. I, I think I put too much of this pro uh, product. But you know, it, when I use the product for the first time, I really don't know how it works. And you have to just get used to the product. And use it many times to just feel comfortable and to know exactly how much you need on your face. So I'm really liking this setting powder. This is a plus. I actually just bought this uh, La Laura Mercier powder, setting powder too, and I will set my makeup with this powder, the rest of my makeup. I'm liking this powder a lot. I do understand what everybody's talking about this one. And I just want to cover or fill in my pores more. My pores are much smaller and not so visible. I use this face roller from Amapure and it really did a wonderful job with my pores. They are not gone, but they are smaller, definitely. Now we're going to use this Elf Lip Exfoliator. Looks like a lipstick. And try on my lips. Okay, it really feels rough on my on my lips, but it exfoliates and moisturizes at the same time. It smells nice and tastes nice too. Take off the excess extra. Tastes really good. I like it. I don't know if you can really see. It looks kind of yellow in the in this light, but it really covered my pores, and I'm liking how this setting powder powder really did a wonderful job under my eye. It feels really nice. I like that it's not patchy on my nose because I'm really dry right now on my nose. It's 11.50 and I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll check in in a while and see how this wears today. See you later. So guys, this is the final look. It's been almost an hour since we did the foundation and the primer, since we took the primer and foundation and setting powder of course. I'm really liking how it looks uh, so far. It uh, looks very flawless, really I really like it. It looks very nice and doesn't feel heavy at all. The foundation doesn't really feel heavy and not even the primer. It feels like I don't wear makeup and I have a lot of makeup on my face. So I'll check in during the day and see 
how it uh, holds and how it looks after a couple of hours. Now I will not doing anything special today, but I wanted to look cute today, so that's why I have makeup. I'm not going anywhere, I just wanted to look good. So yeah, I'll check in and see you later guys. Hi and welcome back. Now the time is uh, quarter to four and it's been like four hours and 30 minutes since I did my foundation and uh, setting powder. Uh, I have my glasses, let's take them off and see how it looks. Uh, it looks kind of a little bit shiny, but not too oily. It doesn't look oily, I think so. I'm loving this foundation and I'm loving the primer. Expensive, but good. Uh, let's zoom in and see the results much better. Now, don't mind these spots, it's because my glasses are there, but look, it looks very nice. Not too khaki, a little bit here, but not too much. I like how it sets under my eye and didn't set into my bigger wrinkles, the powder, I mean. And it's a little bit shiny, but not too oily. Uh, I'm loving this foundation. I think it's a very good foundation. I'm kind of a, a bit like um, about this concealer. I'm not really in love in the concealer because it's not the concealer itself. I like the formula of it, but I think I have the wrong color. It's kind of yellow, too yellow for me. Maybe if I blend it together with my neutralizer purple from a makeup store, maybe then it will look better. I will try that method. But I do really like the concealer. I like how it uh, fills my pores and how it looks flawless. Uh, this part when I wear my glasses, that's nothing I can do about it. I didn't find any foundation that will just stay and don't get on my glasses. So that's just a part of it. But I do like it. I really do like it. So let's check in in a couple more hours and uh, see finally. Hi everyone and welcome back. Now it's... And it's, it has been nine hours, a little bit over nine hours since I did this makeup. And uh, the results are good, I think. Uh, I hope so. I do look a little bit oily. So I will take my glasses off. And like I said, I do have this, where I put this setting powder for concealer, elf setting powder, under eye setting powder. It looks amazing. It really looks amazing. I do like it. It's a little bit patchy, but it it is worse when I uh, have the regular powder. And a little bit shiny, but not too much. And it's not too patchy on my nose. I'm liking this. Now, if you can see here, I lost some foundation. There is no foundation, uh, but not too patchy. I like how it looks on my forehead. I think this is going to be one of my favorites. I'm loving it and I'm enjoying this prim uh, primer. I, I think this primer is also a reason why my foundation is still on and I love this under eye primer and also this under eye setting powder. It's sheer from e.l.f. and I like it. First I thought it's too small because you don't get to uh, so much of the product but I if you think you don't need a lot you can put this and then over the other regular powder if you want to bake your face you don't bake your face with this one or I will not do that because I would have to use like two of these <laughs> thumbs up for the foundation thumbs up for the primer and thumbs up for elves products so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't uh, miss kind these kind of videos and uh, yeah thank you for watching take care bye